Patrick Mahomes, who's the star quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs, is a name known to many football fans and sports enthusiasts alike around the world. His incredible talent, arm strength, and creative playing style have earned him numerous accolades and a place among the NFL elites. While many are familiar with his on-field exploits, there's several fascinating facts about Mahomes' life and career that might still surprise you. From his family's athletic background to his unique love for ketchup, let's dive deeper into 10 things that you may not have known about this football genius. Number one, first and foremost, Patrick Mahomes comes from a family with a strong sporting pedigree. Born to Patrick Mahomes Sr., a former Major League Baseball player and Randy Martin, a former collegiate athlete, Mahomes was exposed to the world of sports from a very young age. His father, Pat Mahomes Sr., had a successful MLB career spanning over a decade, playing as a pitcher for several teams, including the Mets, Rangers, and Red Sox. Growing up in a household where sports was basically the central focus, Mahomes was immersed in an environment that fostered his passion for competition and athletic achievement. Pat Sr.'s experience undoubtedly had played a significant role in shaping Patrick's early development as an athlete and had laid the foundation for his future success in sports. In interviews, Mahomes has spoken fondly about his father's influence and how his experience in baseball impacted his approach to football. It's evident that the support and guidance of his family have been instrumental in shaping him not only as an athlete, but also as a person. Number two. Apart from excelling in football, Mahomes has an unexpected secret weapon of his sleeve. You guessed it, baseball. Back in high school, he was a double threat and not just on the football field, but also on the baseball diamond. Talk about keeping those scouts on their toes. Mahomes juggled both sports like a total boss, dazzling the crowds with his throws on the football field. It's like he had the whole sporting world wrapped around his little finger. I mean, seriously, come on. How many times do you know a kid that can launch a football with the precision of a guided missile and then go on to pitch a baseball at supersonic speeds? No wonder those scouts were drooling over him like a kid at a candy store. They must have been tossing coins to decide which team would get this extraordinary athletic gem. But unfortunately, he chose the path of football glory, and boy, did that pay off. Touchdown and records had become his bread and butter, and he was on top of the world. Now, you might wonder to yourself, did baseball skills have anything to do with his football prowess? Who knows? Maybe his ability to throw a football like a heat-seeking missile came from all those years of chucking baseballs. It's like he was born to throw stuff. Baseballs, footballs, heck, maybe even pizza pies. But hey, in the Mahomes way, he basically does it all. And he does it with style. And as long as he's flinging those touchdowns, who needs home runs anyway? Number three. One of the most defining characteristics of Patrick Mahomes is his incredible arm strength. Patrick Mahomes and his arm strength. Now that's a match made in quarterback heaven. Seriously, the guy's arm is like a superhero power. He could probably throw a football to the moon if he wanted to. NASA, start taking notes. But instead of launching pigskins into outer space, he's content with making jaw-dropping plays on the football field. During a high school football camp, Mahomes showcased his arm strength by launching a football an astonishing 83 yards. That's like throwing a touchdown from one end zone to the other. I bet the other kids at camp were wondering if he had a bionic arm hidden under that jersey. And you know, it's kind of serious when you even think about it at the high school level because people started making whispers and hushed tones about the arm of Mahomes. Scouts were probably trying to figure out if they needed to recruit him for a quarterback position or maybe a secret weapon for intergalactic football competitions. Now, in the NFL, Mahomes' arm strength has become the stuff of legends. He can effortlessly launch the football downfield, covering tremendous distances with his remarkable accuracy. And this ability to throw deep passes with ease and precision puts consistent pressure on opposing defenses, trying to catch them like trying to catch a cheetah with your grandma's gardening gloves. Yeah, good luck with that one. And if you're an opposing defender, you might as well start a prayer circle before the game, hoping that maybe, just somehow, Mahomes' arm power goes into hibernation mode. Nevertheless, Mahomes' arm strength is not just about how far he can throw the ball, it's also about the velocity and zip that he puts on those passes. His throws often arrive with incredible speed, making it challenging for defenders to react and intercept the ball. This combination of distance, accuracy, and velocity helps to make him a threat to score on any play and keeps opposing defenders guessing. 
With that said, whenever you see Mahomes winding up the throw, just remember to duck, cover, and pray that your defense survives the aerial assault. Number four. While Mahomes is known for his extraordinary football skills, he has another notable passion, catch up. Despite being a superstar athlete, Mahomes has an endearing quirk that sets him apart from many other players in the league, his unique liking for the sauce. The revelation of Mahomes' fondness for ketchup came during the interview where he casually mentioned putting the red sauce on his steak. This seemingly harmless statement had sparked a wave of curiosity and fascination among fans and media alike. Many found it unusual, to say the least, as steak is often considered a delicacy that should never be enjoyed with any seasoning or, at best, minimal enough so as to savor the natural flavors of the meat. However, instead of being shy about his preference, Mahomes embraced his love for ketchup with a good humor and unapologetic stance on his choice. His candidness about his unconventional food pairing had endeared him. Additionally, he has used his love for ketchup for more philanthropic reasons. In a charitable partnership with Hunt's Ketchup, he had donated 100,000 meals to those in need during the COVID-19 pandemic, showcasing his ability to leverage his unique quirks for a good cause. Number five. In a historic move, Mahomes became part owner of the Kansas City Royals in 2020, making him the youngest sports team owner in professional sports history at just 24 years old. Oh, and speaking of sports ownership, he didn't just invest in any old team, he went for the Kansas City Royals. Talk about keeping it in the family. This guy's got Kansas City in his heart and his wallet. They might as well just rename the team to Kansas City Mahomes. I mean, he's practically the king of this city at this point. You know you made it big when you're not just the star on the field, but also the boss behind the scenes. But hey, Mahomes' ownership is more than just a status symbol. It's a power move. It shows that he's not just a football superstar, but he's a savvy businessman to boot. Number six. Way back in his younger years, Mahomes was a ball boy for the White House high school basketball team in White House, Texas. Mahomes was a talented basketball player in high school, and he even received some scholarship offers from various Division I basketball programs. However, he did ultimately decide to focus more on football and went on to play quarterback at Texas Tech University. Mahomes stated that his time as a basketball boy had helped him to develop his hand-eye coordination and his ability to read defenses. He also stated that basketball helped him to learn how to be a leader and how to work as part of a team. Although Holmes has never played college basketball, he still enjoys playing the game in his free time and has even gone on to say that he would one day love to coach basketball at the high school level or maybe even college. Number seven, believe it or not, Patrick Mahomes has been robbed at gunpoint. Yep, you heard that right. Just two weeks after he was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs, Mahomes and three other people were leaving a University of Texas at Tyler baseball game whenever they were approached by a car carrying two men. One of them got out of the car and demanded property from Mahomes and his friends. Mahomes and his friends did comply and the men just drove away. Luckily enough, Mahomes wasn't injured in the robbery, and he said that he's grateful that he and his friends weren't harmed. And he also even said that he's not going to let the robbery affect his life or even his career. The police were able to track down the men and arrest them, and Michael Blake Pinkerton was charged with aggravated robbery, along with Billy Ray Johnson being charged with aggravated robbery and unlawful possession of a firearm. Pinkerton was then sentenced to 12 years in jail, and Johnson 10. Number eight. His face was on a cereal box in 2018. Yep, that is still a thing. The cereal was called Mahomes Magic Crunch, and it was created by Hy-Vee, which is a grocery store chain in the Midwest US. The cereal was a limited edition release, and it was only available in Hy-Vee stores. The cereal was a success, and it quickly sold out. Some people even started selling the cereal on eBay for a premium price. Mahomes Magic Crunch was a hit with the kids. The cereal was made with honey oats, marshmallows, and chocolate chips, and even had a sweet and crunchy flavor. That being said, Mahomes was a big fan of the cereal, and he even appeared in a commercial for it. In the commercial, Mahomes was seen eating the cereal and talking about how much that he liked it, and also stated that he hoped that the cereal would help kids get their magic on. Number 9. 
Patrick Mahomes is a big fan of Whataburger. He's even said that he loves the food so much and often orders the A1 Thick and Hearty Burger. Mahomes also has been eating Whataburger at press conferences and other public events. Oh, by the way, let's talk about that whole Whataburger King title. Move aside, Buckingham Palace. There is a new royalty in town, and he's not just wearing a fancy robe, but rather a paper crown from Whataburger. They've even had a grand ceremony for him in Kansas City, with the burger mayor presenting him with the coveted award. I wonder if the trophy was ever made of french fries and ketchup bottles. You know you've reached a legendary status whenever you get rewarded with a year's supply of Whataburger. I mean, seriously, forget MVP awards. This is the real deal. Mahomes probably has a Whataburger truck following him around constantly, delivering burgers at his beckoning call. It's like a fast food fairy tale come true. But the fun doesn't stop there. The Chiefs got in on the action too, and they created a special Mahomes Whataburger sandwich. It's like they combine the powers of football and fast food to create the ultimate fan favorite combo. Lastly, number 10. Patrick Mahomes isn't just a football superstar, he is a sneakerhead extraordinaire. That's right, this quarterback has got some serious soul. From the moment that he learned to walk, he was probably dribbling basketballs in baby booties or something. Fast forward to today, and Mahomes is the proud owner of a shoe collection that could rival a media Marcos. We're talking over 180 pairs of sneakers here. That's more than a centipede has legs. And if you think that he's just sticking to one brand, that is not the case. Mahomes is the master of kicks with Adidas, Nike, Yeezys, and all vying for a spot on his shoe space. And he's not just a fan either, he's practically an ambassador for the shoes. He's collaborated with Adidas to create some one-of-a-kind designs. Forget touchdown passes, his shoe game is where it's really scoring points. You know you're a big deal when you're featured in sneaker magazine articles and interviews, and Mahomes probably had to hire a personal assistant just to manage his shoe-related press. Oh, and don't even get me started on those rare and expensive sneakers that he rocks on and off the field. They're probably kept under lock and key like precious jewels. I mean, who knew football and fashion could collide so spectacularly? 